disappointing defeat last week. What are you looking to take from that game? Um, I think there were a fair few positives from it. I, I thought um, the young kids really, really stood up uh, in the game. Young Judah, I thought, had a, a great debut for the club, and I thought Jordy Crowther were his best player on the on the field. We showed that once we got a little bit of good ball, that we can we can score tries. I think the first good ball set we. Um, we scored, we scored down their end. Um, what's led us down the last few weeks, certainly with the ball, is is his ball control. We've been around fifty three, fifty four percent after at half time, which you can't afford to do against against Warrington and and, and Wigan. Um, and obviously, as as um, as defence certainly on his own trial lines not being not being good enough. So it's something that we've worked on. Worked on in training this week, and we'll 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 hopefully see the rewards on Sunday. Is it worrying that that's affected you over the last three games and resulted in three defeats in a row? Is what sorry? The fact that you've not defended well is that an issue that? I think defence is just attitude. I just don't think we've we've been we've been willing to to roll the sleeves up and work hard for each other like we have done the the last. 13, 14 weeks. So yeah, it's 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 concerning that. Um, the last two weeks we've leaked the the amount of points that we uh, well the last three weeks we've um, leaked the points that we have done, um, but we've also got to look at you know there is certain circumstances that are obviously having a big effect on on that in terms of players that we can't get out on the field and Castleford we ran out of changes with 35 minutes to go with nobody fit to go back on the bench. Um, so yeah, it's there's there's obviously circumstances, but yeah, it's disappointing that we've leaked that many points. Any injury news ahead of Warrington? Um, I don't think there's much good news. Um, we've got Johnny Malloy back this week. Johnny um, Johnny comes back from a from a pec tear, and um, and Ben Johns Bishop with a with a shoulder that will need surgery at the end of the year. Um, but other than that, no, we. We're down to I think nineteen players now. We had nineteen training, nineteen fit players. Um, Bill Tupu will make a call on Saturday morning. It's a hamstring that's obviously Bill's still got an issue, still worrying about as you do with with hamstrings, um, and it's more a confidence thing with it, with a hamstring injury. And Scott Anderson, I've been saying for the last three weeks, he's going to be right next week. He's going to be right next week, um, but. Again, he's he's not reacted great to um, to the injections in his in his in his back and and the treatment he's been getting. So it's it's taken a little bit longer than uh, than we than we thought with 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 Scott. Um, we're confident everybody, well, the majority of the team is going to be back after Wembley. So in terms of Danny Kermon, Mika Simon, Tom Johnson, Scott Anderson, and a few others, all. Um, I'll certainly figure figure after Wembley. It's just short term wise, we we we're still a little bit um, underdone. Does that make it even more difficult for you as a coach at this stage of the season? No, not really, because it gives me a great opportunity to to blood some of these really good young kids and um, young James Batchel will get a a run out this weekend. He's been out in the with the England Academy set up this week. Uh, the, the over the last month, played very very well. Watched his game. Uh, watched both tests, first and second test. And um, he's certainly one for the uh, for the future. Young Jude will keep his spot in the in the uh, in the seventeen. And um, you know we forget that Jordy Crowther and, and Max Jow are still under nineteen, still eligible for for academy football. So it's it's a good position for me to be in. It's it's I've no uh, hesitation in throwing these young young kids in, and it's it's a great opportunity for me to for me to do that over the next six weeks. But on the flip side, we, I'm not doing it because I'm, I'm doing it because we want to. We want to win games. There's still twelve. There's still twelve points to be um, to be won, and um, I'm confident we can, we can still resurrect something from from this season. We want to finish as high as possible in this uh, in this Super League ladder. How much of a positive is it for the future that you're so happy to to blood the youngsters and get them out there? Yeah, the, these these lads will learn from the from the experience. Uh, being a Wakefield lad, a Wakefield fan. Wakefield have always had really, really good juniors coming through the through the system, and and what's frustrated me more than anything over the years is, for one reason or another, these kids have wanted to 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 leave Wakefield, and um, you know it's important that we keep hold of all his best talent, and and Jordy Crowther, Max Jarrett, Bachelor, 
Um, Judah, Tom Johnson in this world are the future of this club and while ever I'm here I want these guys here and uh, it's important as a club that we um, that we, we keep these if we want to in, want to grow. Looking ahead to the weekend, what are you expecting from Warrington? Well, similar to similar to a couple of weeks ago, they'll obviously be disappointed that they they got beat by by St Helens. Um, but it just shows that they they're not unbeatable and we'll give it as best shot. We uh, need to look after the ball, like similar to what I said earlier. The ball control has been an issue, and we've got to have more more desire and more resilience defending his own try line and if we can do that then we're in with a very good chance of winning the game. So I mean in terms of the Super 8s as a whole, what, what are you looking to achieve from the rest of it? Well there's 12 points to be, um, to be, to be gained, we want to finish as high as we possibly can and, and, and I think top, uh, top 6 is certainly uh, not out of the equation, um, so we, we want to finish as high as possible and I think the highest this posi- this club has finished in Super League is six spots. So you know, achieving that would be would be fantastic. But um, we've got to see a real change in in attitude over the over the coming weeks and to uh, to be able to achieve that. How big is the Super Eights for this club? What sort of yeah, effect does it it's, have? It's massive. It's it has a massive effect in terms of recruitment. It has a massive effect in terms of you know, gate money as well and, and, and we've got some really good home games coming up. We've got Warrington who are very well supported and Hull FC, do we play Hull FC or is it Cass? I can't remember which, I think it's Hull FC at home, uh, again a, a well supported team. So yeah, in terms of revenue it's 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 um, it's great. In terms of recruitment, you know, we, we've been recruiting now for the last four or five weeks since we've known that we're going to be in, in, in Super League and um, it's certainly made, uh, I think, things a lot easier than, were, than what they were um, this time 12 months ago. On recruitment, I've got to ask you about Keegan Hurst. Uh, why have you brought him in? I just think Keegan's been playing some really good um, football at, uh, at Batley. He's a, he's, a big, he's a big human being. He's, he's been playing some consistent footy there. He comes highly regarded from, from John Keir. Um, We'll be uh, we'll be losing a couple in in, in the middle this year, and uh, I think he's a great addition to the to the um, to the pack. Um, we're still a front rower short, and we uh, we're looking both here and overseas for another another big front rower, another big back rower. Um, so yeah, we, we we're pleased that we've got we've got Keegan. He, I'm sure he'll he'll uh, make the most of his opportunity. It's a twelve month it's a twelve month deal, which gives us. You know, time to look at Keegan and and gives Keegan time to 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 look at us and whether it's the right thing for for Keegan to to do going forward. But uh, I think it's a great opportunity for him, and I'm looking forward to working with him. What are you expecting from him to bring to the group? I'm not expecting a great deal. You know, straight off the bat, it's it's going to be a big big shock to him, big shock to the system in terms of full time training. He's not really used to the full time grind. Is 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 part-time rugby player and, and, and he obviously works as well so um, it's, it'll be a big shock to him and but uh, you know in terms of what he'll bring he's, he's, he's a good athlete um, I've watched a lot of his games this year he's a very good offloader and uh, you know speaking to John he's a, he's a nice guy off the field as well so it's um, it'll be good to um, you know get him involved in the in, in this group as soon as possible and um, you know looking forward to to working with him and I'm looking forward to the first day in pre-season.